Hi day to you all, I'm Kinsmark, and this is another Fallout 4 mod spotlight, the Nambu Pistol from Leo to Link, which adds the commonly ridiculed and actually fairly misunderstood Nambu Type 14 pistol to the game, craftable under the Chem Station Utility tab. Not to be confused with the absolutely atrocious Type 94, a gun one could literally shake into accidentally discharging, the Nambu Type 14 was the standard sidearm of Japanese military officers during most of World War II, and while its quality did wane considerably considerably as the war dragged on, most collectors agree that its aforementioned successor is far more deserving of the criticism frequently heaped upon all Nambu pistols in general. Coming from the mind of General Kijiro Nambu, a man of inconsistent design success, the Type 14 is an upgraded version of the earlier C96-inspired Nambu Type A, and in fact went on itself to inspire one William Ruger in the designs of the Ruger Marks 1 through 3. Stat-wise, prior to perks, the Nambu Type 14 deals 35 damage per shot, takes 10mm rounds at 8 rounds per magazine, has a fire rate of 73, a range of 119, accuracy 60, weighs 7.3 carry units, because that's entirely too heavy to represent pounds, and is valued at roughly 250 caps. One can upgrade its receiver just like any other semi-automatic small arm, all the way up to advanced quality. One can also upgrade it with a comfort grip, though this isn't represented cosmetically, and give it a quick-release magazine or add a suppressor, the latter of which I'm not sure the Type 14 was ever actually fitted with. As far as the animations go, shells are ejected to the right rather than straight up, as its historical counterparts were, though I recognize that this is a limitation of the current ability for mods to affect such things. And I am particularly fond of how, when the player draws the gun and checks the chamber in the slide, the animations actually show around in the model of the receiver. I absolutely love little touches like that. And speaking of the chambering, as one can imagine, the one shown here in the mod isn't entirely accurate, as the historical Type 14 took a low-pressure 8x22mm round considerably weaker than pretty much all of its contemporaries around the world at the time. There's a reason Japanese officers often attacked with swords at close range. To reflect this, there is also an optional file to change the modded gun's chambering to 38, approximating its real-world caliber at least a little more closely. As far as the mod is concerned, I'm fairly impressed. It looks good, functions well, and fits the classic gun's aesthetic of most of the game's small arms. I can't say I agree with the choice to make it even stronger statistically than the default game 10mm pistol, though I still consider it a welcome addition to the game's rather anemic arsenal. I do kind of wish there were an AWCKR patch for it, though the author has indicated in comments that they aren't interested in giving further support to this mod, so I'll just have to deal. And credit to the mod author for giving credit in turn to the person who first created these models and textures, one Connectorprecht in the very first line of the mod's Nexus page description. I've seen no small number of modders who simply turn around and take credit for the creations of others just because they rigged them into this game or that, so kudos for acknowledging the original creator. Anyway, that's all I've got for this mod spotlight, so thank you all kindly for watching. Check out the Mod World playlist for more mods I've covered in the past. I am Kinsmark here at Last Level Press, and as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.